you can't say the same. I mean, how many of these have you guys done? I can't even count. I don't even know. Is it does it become like a routine at this point, or do you still get a little bit of excitement still before you go on stage? Um, you know, it's always different. Sometimes it's excitement. Sometimes you're drained. Sometimes you're tired. Sometimes you don't feel good. End of the day, when we get on stage, we got to put on a show. So we got to put all those emotions away and just go rock because we're just human beings that all have all the same feelings and same crap. Some dude might have a stomach ache. Next guy is having a bad day, but you hit the stage and you just rock out and have fun. And then you go back to your complaining day or you're just having a good day. Today has been pretty good for me. I was going to say, I hope you're amped. Are you a little bit more relaxed? Because you had a little bit of a break there uh, when they went to South America. How, how, how is this is your first show back with Corn, right? Yeah, it's been, um, they went to South America. They did seven shows down there. Ty from uh, Ty Trujillo filled in for me, 12 years old, and he killed it. They told me he just nailed it. Living little rock star right there. I was going to say, did you give him any pointers beforehand? Be like, okay, this is my signature move, and you're going to do it. I don't need to give him any pointers. His, his dad, Robert from Metallica, was with him right there, coaching him along. He went he went on tour with him, so it was amazing. So you're excited, though. When you're away and you're not playing for a while there, I mean, is it like uh, are you just itching to get back on stage, or is it like, thank God, you know, I get a break? Um, it's... You know, it depends on what part of the cycle of the touring you're in. A lot of times we're itching to get home. Sometimes we're itching to be back on a tour. It all depends, you know, how long you've been out or... Because it can get really sucky back here. If you look around, you're in a tent and mud and sucky dressing rooms. Little tiny, like, it's... They're little, like, trailers. It's like little... We call them, like, holding tanks or prison cells. So if you've been on a tour for a month and you're living in this crap, you can get pretty, like burned out yeah I was gonna say I'm sinking over here in the mud right now <laughs> as we speak and and uh, but it, hopefully it won't rain out on you guys but I bet you guys have played through like every weather imaginable yeah we played through every rain doesn't matter we're like the mailman <laughs> I've noticed a lot of bands I've gotten to interview today they've all said that they are so excited to see corn that they're that you guys are the band they're most excited to see and a lot of them cite corn as an influence has there been any bands that you've noticed that they've told you that yeah there's a lot of bands that have told us that um i mean i, I don't know that i can't even a lot of bands that it in turn you know influence us too but you know like bands like over the years we became friends with slipknot and they said that we influenced them in the early days you know and from uh, Vinge Sevenfold, you know, them telling me in the early days we influenced them, and I don't know. A lot, I mean, I, Is that a weird feeling, though, to be now get to a ba point where, like, you're influencing these baby bands, basically? Yeah, but these bands to me are, like, yeah. mega bands now, yeah. so I, I, it's kind of humbling going, really? Like, wow, because they're such they're big bands. I'm like, I trip out when I, I didn't, I never knew that. Like, let's say, for example, M Shadows texts me and says, hey, I'm, um, I'm at the gym working out to your new corn CD, and I remember the first day I brought home the first corn album to my dad, and he hated your band. And he finally he finally listened to new corn, and he likes it. He's a fan now. And I'm like, wow, he had our first album. Like, I still trip out. Like, it's hard. It's hard to you know to really believe. It must be an amazing field. It is. It still shocks me to this day that somebody will tell me that they were fans back in the day. I'm like, you were like. And then they start dropping real titles and names, and, and, and I'm like, wow, that's weird. I, don't, I, don't, I still don't believe it. It's kind of cool. Is there anything that shocks you anymore that goes on the, in the crowds at these festivals anymore? Um, I don't know. It's all kind of the same. I mean, the only thing, I, nothing that shocks me, because they've got every kind of anything you can name of of all these things they do out there. The one thing I just don't really like honestly is like when people crowd surf because what happens is when they get to the end and the end of the stage right there by our stage and they get flipped over to the barricade right there yeah. sometimes the security misses them and they hit their neck or something and they're Ooh. they're shaking on the ground and carried off on a, on a stretcher yeah. to the hospital so i i don't really like it i don't think people are going to stop doing it but when you get to the end know that you might be landing on your neck or something so this has been a PSA from Fieldy. Please don't land on your neck. 
Do something different besides crowd surf. You gotta come up with something different. Do a wall of death. They do that too. That's not. That's probably a little safer, but you know. So what's uh, what's coming up for corn in the future? You guys got the Serenity of Summer tour going on. Yeah, we got. A, we're gonna start up a tour in June, and um, just go from there. I mean, we have a an amazing stage that we're bringing out. That's very simple but very different. Pretty excited about it. Very. Uh, I can't even. I can't give it away, but it's really. It's really cool though. Have you guys toured with uh, Stone Sour before? I think we've done a lot of shows with them. I don't know if we've done a, a proper tour. I don't know. I can't remember. All right. Well, thank you so much for taking the time to talk with me, Fieldy. I really appreciate it.